there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today, we are talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you are here. Today, we have an update video on Destiny's SWAT team story, uh, taking her in to custody uh, from a previous interview that, that we got to talk about because uh, there is another story that has emerged that is being alleged that sounds closer to the truth than the lie that Destiny tried to sell as a sob story uh, when she was on another YouTuber's platform uh, with a therapist and everything else uh, with these uh, delusions of grandeur, with, with these false narratives, with the, the lies, fairy tales, fallacies, and, and all of the things, trying her best to pull a Martell and get sympathy from the Love & Marriage Huntsville fan base, and not on my watch, you guys, not on my watch are we going to just allow lies to completely, you know, manifest out here and, and to try to gain sympathy. Can, can you tell the truth for once, Destiny? That's why when I saw some people that were like, oh my gosh, I feel so sorry for Destiny. She's got arrested again. And, and, and why is LeBaric messing with her like this? And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. where is the receipts that LeBaric is messing with Destiny, right? Right? Like, like, where is this coming from? Right? Oh, or is this the Martell speak of how he feels that, that uh, Mel is just trying to do anything and everything to, to get him, uh, you know, locked up or whatever? No, 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 no. Uh, so previously, just to recap for those of you who do not know, uh, Destiny had alleged because she wanted to speak out for the first time about her latest arrest, right? So she claims that the other day she was at the pediatrician's office, her son had a doctor's appointment, LeBaric was there, and uh, something happened to where the SWAT team was called on her. And she somehow negotiated with the SWAT team, you guys, which is usually... From my understanding, SWAT team is like if you are holding people hostage, if you are like an active shooter, if there's like some counterterrorism things going on, that's usually the case for SWAT, you guys. Uh, but nonetheless, Destiny said she was able to negotiate with the SWAT team and go out to her car to gather herself and, 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 and negotiate how she was going to get arrested so that her son did not see their mom going out in cuffs. And so she was able to negotiate with the SWAT team, mind you. When the SWAT team is called, you guys, when the SWAT team has to be there, uh, there is no negotiation, you guys. The negotiation is to release the hostage. <laughs> so like, 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 what is taking place? And so she, she has this grand story. She says that there was an anonymous tip that somehow somebody other than her and LeBaric knew about this doctor's appointment for her son. And then the cherry on top, you guys, what was the audacity to say that the reason that, oh, another reason she wanted to negotiate how she was being arrested because she wanted to make sure that there wasn't paparazzi, there wasn't people outside and everything else taking pictures of her because she could be recognized because she's a celebrity and i was like wow this is very 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 out of order this is so out of order like like we need to be on wattpad or, or fanfiction.net what is going on with the lies you guys and, and all of the things so I told the story the way that I did uh, on a previous video that I did the other day because it was just so outrageous and it was just so funny to me, but I knew there was going to be a follow-up, right? So this again is alleged. Don't know whether or not this is actually what factually happened. However, I believe this version of events is closer to the truth than the lie about the SWAT team. Uh, that the LeBaric was so mad uh, at seeing Destiny at the doctor's office that he had to call the SWAT team on her and have her arrested. No, 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 no. That he was using his government contacts to call the SWAT team uh, because this was his first time seeing his wife in person after she is slandering him to the blogs, you guys. And accusing him and Mel uh, of having a, a relationship of sorts and, and all of the things. And after previously saying that there was a gag order and she was not allowed to ever discuss LeBaric or their marriage or details about what happened in their uh, marriage and all of the things. And that she specifically told LeBaric's family, especially his mom, that she was never going to speak on him. She was never going to talk about him uh, out of respect and, you know, out of respect for their son and all of the things, right? And, and that turned out to be another lie, you guys. Just like Destiny said that Mel was not a good friend her, and then Mel came back and said, listen, I've paid thousands of dollars uh, for your bills. 
right? So, so how am I a bad friend if I'm helping you out financially for you to get yourself together, right? Uh, so, so it's it's lie after lie after lie, which explains why Destiny is BFS with Martel. But but let's get to what the latest version of events is, right? That sounds closer to the truth. So the alleged version of events is Destiny was acting a fool at the doctor's office. Destiny was out of control at the pediatrician's office, which is supposed to be generally a place for kids, even if they're sick, even if they're getting shots. You're, you're supposed to leave happy. You're supposed to leave with a sticker or perhaps a toy or all of the things uh, uh, for enduring uh, whatever you had to endure during that appointment. But Destiny said, no, I am going to cut up at a pediatrician's office at the site of my ex-husband, right? I don't know if that's the reason, but I can presume that her and LeBaric are not on good terms in any capacity, and they probably don't see each other that much. And Destiny, prior to this appointment, had been on a podcast tour uh, alleging that LeBaric and, and um, Melody were secret lovers, were, were bonding uh, in all of the things because of their marriages falling apart, and uh, they, they, they seek refuge. <laughs> in each other you guys and when destiny was pressed about it she said oh well all i know is when i facetime my son uh destiny or, or mel and the kids were also at labaric's restaurant so so again zero receipts zero information zero intel but i don't understand when destiny went with the swat team story why she was not pressed about the swat team because immediately her lie would have fell apart so nonetheless she's acting full at the doctor's office they call the cops on her she's frightening the staff frightening the secretaries the, the medical assistants the nurses and the pediatricians and, and, and the like right so they call the cops on her because she refuses to gain control of herself and that is when it popped up there was already a warrant out for it her arrest which she got arrested there completely different story you guys from destiny alleging that LeBaric called the SWAT team on her uh, and had her arrested and she was able to go out to her car first to negotiate uh, how she wanted to be arrested with SWAT um, so that her son didn't see her get in behind Bart's. Completely different story. But this sounds more closer to the version of events that Destiny was acting a fool and, and Carlos King has confirmed that the show is, is filming once again. So this likely, like I said, is probably going to be on, on the premiere back end of the next half of the show because there's nothing original that this show ever does. It, it's rinse, uh, you know, watch, rinse, rinse, and repeat with just different cast members. Uh, so, so basically, we're just going to regurgitate the Martell storyline that we saw in the first episode, and we're now going to regurgitate it for Destiny because conveniently, uh, the cameras are going to be rolling conveniently uh you're getting arrested just like martel did uh in the presence of children you guys right all of this like i said all of this is is all plan is all a narrative for sympathy you guys it's all a narrative to you know quote unquote because they're so scared of the melometers and the mel supporters that they're pulling out all the stops to try to gain sympathy right and all of the things right so again, and this is Destiny who's saying that, that she is a survivor of DV and that um, LeBaric is all these horrible things. And, and But she was able, though, uh, to somehow, uh, you know, leave all of that out. Leave everything that took place at the doctor's office of her losing her mind and getting herself arrested uh, because she cannot maintain her composure. And so the question is, did she do this because her and LeBaric are not on good terms? Did she do this because the cameras are rolling and she is trying to secure a spot for next season if the show gets renewed? Or if she's just completely unhinged altogether, uh, which is also a strong possibility because somebody that is this much of a pathological liar, somebody this much who is so, uh, you know, can never form any type of truth, the truth is not in their system. The truth is not in their body in any capacity. So, so how can I take you seriously? How can anybody have any sympathy or empathy for you when you can't even tell a correct story about your arrest? And you have to take it to the next level talking about the SWAT team was called. For forgery. For fraud, you guys. 
not being an active shooter, not holding the pediatrician's office hostage, and, and all the things. No, 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 no. For fraud. For trying to use your ex-husband's information to pay the light bill. For trying to get access to your ex-husband's benefits and all the things. Because you're broke. Make it make sense. Nobody told you to fumble somebody who worked for the government. Nobody told you to fumble somebody who's getting VA benefits, you guys. Make it make sense.